Um, I just wanted to go through this question that we keep getting asked again and again, a sensible question, which is how do you use highlays? Um, there are basically two occasions where you might want to use highlays. The first one is the emergency response to you know you've blocked a blood vessel and you need to get it out of that blood vessel as quickly as possible. And the second one is should be less common, which is someone who doesn't like the result or it's a little bit too full and they just want to take a little bit of the product out again. Um, the first one, we have this little kit, which I've posted on here before, uh, which is our emergency kit. And I suggest that you all carry all of this with you all the time. Um, there's one other component of it, which is an EpiPen, and you do need that as well. Um, and those, that's the kit that you should have to back up. You'll probably keep it for a year and not use it, or it might even be five years before you use it. But it's really important that on that day when you need it, that you're prepared to go. And what it has in it is, most important thing would be a little vial of, of Hyalase, 1500 units, and some saline to dissolve it in, and the needle to the syringe to hold it in so that you can inject it, and, and obviously some, uh, some needles to actually do the injecting. And the rectogesic is for afterwards, that a, a, a often causes a little bit of amusement, which is because it's rectal ointment, but um, it's GTN cream, and what it does is dilate blood vessels, so that that blood vessel, which is partially blocked, you're doing everything you can to open it up again, and, and uh, make sure that the blood supply gets to the skin and that you don't cause a scar. Right, so let's have a think about what would actually happen. You've done your injection, everything's going fine, there's your nightmare scenario, and you see that there's a, a little white patch that's developed on the skin, it might have hurt a bit more, might have seen a more painful injection, and you see that little area of white skin, uh, and you need to get the filler out. So the first thing you need to do before you do anything is give that a really good massage, because sometimes it's resting on it, or it's partially blocked and you can squash it, and you, you may, just doing that, avert uh, needing to do anything else, but usually um, you're going to need to do take that filler out. So. Before you start removing dermal filler, you need to do an allergy test. Now, th this is, it's my opinion that, you should, that, an, that anaphylaxis is far worse than necrosis, so it makes sense to do your allergy test, which won't, unfortunately, protect you from a reaction that happens two days later when they get big, bright, swollen, red, itchy rash, but it will protect you from anaphylaxis. So, tiny little pinprick, once you've diluted your solution, into their forearm, and you just, while you're doing a massage and your warm compress, you're, um, you're waiting for that to work. And if you look back in five minutes and there's a red itchy wheel, unfortunately you cannot use highlays on these people. And the best thing is to, um, uh, is, just to use, is, is just to use the massage and the mechanical means of, of re restoring blood supply along with things like GTA cream. Okay, so first thing is uh, how you actually dilute it. So you've got your 1500 units uh, and then you've got a bottle of saline which you keep, should keep uh, separate. and in this emergency situation, the concentration really doesn't matter uh, that much. So what you need to do is get your 1500 units into the area where you've got the blocked blood vessel. Um, the first thing is you take one mil of this saline, break the top of this and inject it into here so it's dissolved. You can then use the same syringe to suck that one mil out. And if you want to, you can add uh, some more saline so that perhaps you've got two mils in your, in your syringe. And you then use that with a tiny needle, with a filler needle, to do your allergy test. You get back to your mechanical means of unblocking the blood vessel, and after, two, after five minutes, you can then take this and try and inject it in exactly the same place as you did in the injection that caused the blockage. Now, as you can imagine, it's quite difficult to get into a blood vessel, even if you've done it once before, you may not be able to do it again. But the good news is that there is some evidence that this product will actually make its way through arterial walls and, uh, and digest the filler that's blocking the blood vessel, even if you don't get it into the blood vessel. So it's still worth doing it. And that's about it. Once you've done it once, lots of massaging, warm compress, hopefully, and the, the times we've now done it twice, um, the times that I've done it in an emergency situation, within about half an hour, there was blood supply clearly getting back to, to that part of the skin, capillary refill was normal, uh, and you can breathe a sigh of relief and carry on, and you've probably saved the day in that situation. Um, but do follow those people up again, make sure that you see them again the next day. And it might be worth um, you know, following them up for a few days afterwards just to make sure that the skin is okay and you can react to any un unforeseen things that might happen. Right, so that's it. That's your emergency use of high lace. So two mils of, of saline dissolved in 1500 units and injected into the place where you've, uh, where you, where you've done the original injection. 
The next way to do it is a more controlled way of reversing dermal filler. And what you want to do then is inject just the right amount of dermal filler to reverse the, the sorry, just the right amount of hyalase to reverse the amount of dermal filler that you want to get rid of. Now, I don't personally think this is very accurate, but what they say is, is if you have 1500 units in 15 mils, that one, one mil of that product, one mil of that solution will dissolve one mil of dermal filler. Now, it, don't expect it to be that accurate. I think quite often it will get rid of all of it, or you might need to redo it, but just expect that is what most people seem to think is, is, is a sort of tailored response to getting rid of a targeted amount of dermal filler rather than getting rid of everything. So you might decide you want to get rid of 0.2 mils of dermal filler, then you're going to inject 0.2 mils of the solution. And the way that you do it, this has got 30 mils in it. So you take your five mil syringe and you'd remove 15 mils and just discard it. Then you take one mil out of that and inject one mil into this, dissolve it, suck it all up again and squirt it back into this bottle. And then what you have is 15 mils of solution with 1500 units in here. And you can use that to get rid of exactly the right amount of dermal filler that you want. But I, but I would say advise your client the chances of you'll need to get rid of all of it or you might need to redo it. Uh, and that's it. That's everything you need to know about highlays. Uh, thanks. Any more questions, obviously, as always, get in touch with us on the forum. Bye.